Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Vineet and today we will discuss how we can restore database backups under the simple recovery model. But before we proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please go ahead and hit on the subscribe button on my channel to get updates on the latest videos and uh, click on the bell icon and select the all option as well. So let's come back to a topic which is restoring database backups under the simple recovery model. Uh, let me quickly take you to notes. Uh, so so let's go through th some of the key points. So uh, first of all, there is a recommendation. So if you are attaching or restoring a database from unknown or untrusted sources, so basically, first of all, it is recommended that you do not do any restores or any attachments of a database from unknown or trusted uh, sources. And uh, such databases can contain the malicious code uh, and might execute unintended T-SQL code or can cause error by modifying the schema or the physical database structure. So it is highly advisable not to restore or attach any databases from unknown or untrusted sources. And before we use a database, so uh, we are talking about the case uh, in case we have to anyhow use the untrusted uh, database from an untrusted source, what we can do in those scenarios. So before we use certain kind of database from unknown or an untrusted source, we should run dbcc check db command on the database on a non-production server. So make sure it's on, the test you will conduct should be on the non-production server and not on the production server f for those databases which are from unknown or untrusted sources. And also examine the code inside the stored procedure or other user-defined code in the database. So check all the stored procedure within that database to see that it does not uh, contain any malicious code that can uh, harm your databases or computer. And let's talk about the compatibility level that happens after upgrade. So once you upgrade the version of the SQL Server, the compatibility levels of a TempDB model, MSDB, and resource databases are set to the compatibility level of SQL Server after the upgrade. So these four databases have their model upgraded once you do the upgrade. And there is one more database that is left. So that is the master database. So it retains its compatibility level and that was before the upgrade, unless that level was less than 100. So in case it is less than 100, it gets upgraded to 100 level. Now let me take you one of uh, through one of the demos uh, where you can restore the full database backup under the simple recovery model. So for that, uh, I will show you the T-SQL way. So let me take you to the location where database backups are there. So location would be C drive, program files, Microsoft SQL Server, your instance, MS SQL, under that, there's a backups folder where you usually take the backups. So here we have two transaction log backups in addition to Northwind. There's a full database backup. So let me delete uh, these backups. So database we will use for backups is the Northwind database. So in the meantime, let me open up the SQL Server. I'm waiting for it to open. So once it is open, we will first of all change the recovery model of the Northwind database, right now it's set to full. So we will change that. So basically, how, uh, there's a question, how, how do we se select the recovery model for the database? So if you go to Northwind properties, uh, there's a properties box under the options section, but you will see is the recovery model of this particular database. So right now the recovery model of this database is full. The criteria behind selecting this recovery model is why do we select full recovery model? Under full recovery model, full recovery is possible. So. In addition to restoring the full database backups, you can also restore differential backups as well as the transaction log backups. So in other words, you can, uh, we can say that you can do point in time restore. But if you just select simple model, 
restoring the transaction log backups uh, option is not available for us. So right now I'm converting the recovery model of this database to simple recovery model. So under this model, we cannot take any transaction log backups and cannot restore any transaction log backups. So it's basically a simple recovery model. So let's go ahead and do a task of taking backup. So let's take backups. So we are taking backup of Northwind database. Backup type will be full. So you see only options are available are full or differential under the Northwind database. The transaction log backup option is not available for simple recovery model. So all right, database is selected, location is given. And uh, let me remove this location and add it again. So you need to specify the name of the file. You want to store that database backup under. Um, just provide the file name in here. It will be of backup type extension. So let me just mark it as Northwind. So it will create a Northwind backup database. Um, I think we should remove it and add it again. So you need to specify the extension as well. So let's do that. Put it as Northwind.bak. Let's do okay. Let's do okay. Then the file name is correct and backup will be taken under this folder. All right. Rest of the options are fine. We have discussed about these other options, media options and backup options in so many of our earlier videos, so you can refer to them. So, fine. Fine. So we are not discussing these options uh, here in this video. If you want to uh, go through these options, you can uh, watch my uh, earlier videos. Uh, these options are discussed in details in those videos. For right now, I'm taking a full backup of a simple recovery model of a Northwind database. And let's do OK. So it has taken database backup. If you check the folder, the database file is there, which is a full database backup under the simple recovery model. Now let me show you how you can uh, now let me go ahead and delete the Northwind database quickly. Now accidentally we have deleted the database and, and we are also deleting the backup and uh, restore history information for this database as well. So this is done. Database is, uh, database is removed, not coming in the list. Now let me show you how you can uh, restore the database from that full database backup that we have just taken. So you need to open a T-SQL query. So I'm going the T-SQL way instead of the GUI mode. If, if you want to see how you can restore your GUI mode, you, you may watch some of my early videos. But here we are using Northwind database. Not Northwind database, but the T-SQL mode, the code mode. All right, so you need to be in the master database. One second. Uh, you need to be in the master database in order to take backup. You shouldn't be within the Northwind database, although this database is not there. You, should, you shouldn't be under, under any other database. You should be under the master database. Put a go statement after this. After that, in order to restore the uh, database, you can type it along with me. So you can you need to type the restore database statement. And you need to spell the name of the database, which is Northwind. And you need to specify the resource. So we are restoring it from a file and you need to give a file location. So file location, you can copy it from here. You need a complete part to that file. So under the backup folder, so backup is stored with notrend.bak file, fine. And you need to just type go statement after that and uh, let's execute this code. So database will be restored after that. So let's see. So it is saying that this is an incorrect syntax near file. Uh, so let me see what are the options. So from disk should be the option, not from file. So let's do that. So correct it to disk, it should not be file. So now the database backup is restored. And if I refresh the databases here, I will see a Northwind database in there. So yeah. So yeah, guys, we are done with this video. In this video, we have shown you how you can take a backup, full database backup of a database under the simple recovery model and how you can restore it using the T-SQL syntax. So I hope you like this video. If you really like this video, please hit on the like button. And guys, please do share your comments with us. We would love to listen to you. And do let us know if you want to make uh, any specific videos on any specific topics in, inside SQL Server. 
and once again please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon select all notifications to get all the update regarding my future videos thank you once again have a wonderful day ahead